Well, it is St. Patrick's Day, and what better way to celebrate than hanging out with family at the Jacksonville Landing for what could be the last St. Patty's Day celebration at the Landmark. Despite the Landing's approaching changes, many still come out to celebrate special occasions. So News for Jacks reporter Destiny McKeever is live at the Landing, where the fountain is green today, Destiny. Scott, the fountain is green and it is a little chilly out here, I will admit, but take a look. We do have some people out enjoying the festivities for tonight. We have a live band here and we also have Italian ice. We have sausage dogs and they have a full bar and a lot of people have come out to celebrate. The band is playing, people have on green attire, and the best part, the fountain is green. This is the Jacksonville landing on St. Patrick's Day. So I always love coming here, and plus St. Patrick's Day is always a good day to come out and meet people and then see what's all going on to celebrate. We decided to come because it's St. Patrick's Day and we saw the fountain was green and this is just a really cool place. We like to bring our family here. Not only is Danielle celebrating with her husband, she's also here with her little girl. Although there's been an agreement set for the landing to be demolished, people say they always feel it's a staple in the city. The place has always got cool bands. It's good, uh, you always have the kids running around, so it's a good family environment. And yesterday we told you all about the tow to go service through AAA and Budweiser. That is a ride sharing service for people who will be out drinking tonight. It tows your car and gives you a ride home as well. The number to it is 855-2-TOW-2-GO. Of course, we'll have more information on our website, which is newsforjax.com. Reporting live on Destiny McKeever, Channel 4, the local station.